to you. The other day I was looking for a video on hyperbrace and uh, unfortunately I opened by mistake. One that I thought was in favor of it, but it wasn't. A video from a famous English preacher by the name of David Pawson where he vehemently attacked the concept of hypergrace. Now, seeing that by now I have so much biblical proof in my possession, more than enough to guarantee me the validity of uh, this concept of hypergrace, I decided to listen to a small part of the video before carrying on with my day. <laughs> That's when I managed to hear the opening phrase of his sermon. These hypergrace false teachers have the audacity to say that God doesn't just forgive your past and present sins, but even your future sins, the ones you haven't committed yet. He then opened his arms as if to say, are they crazy? Dear David, most probably you will never watch this video. <laughs> but for the good of the many people who hear that tribes are similar to yours and would like to believe in the freeing beauty of hypergrace, but are blocked by statements of this kind, just like the one you made, I would like to answer you. Let's read one of the many verses in the Bible that prove the total and eternal forgiveness of God. Colossians chapter 2, verses 13 and 14. I would love to read the whole chapter, but due to time constrictions, I will limit myself to these two verses. And you, being dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he has made alive together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us, which was contrary to us. And he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross. My question is very simple. At what time did God forgive all your trespasses, all your sins? What? Come on, think. It's not that difficult. Okay, now the reference, Colossians 1 this time, verses 13 and 14. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love, in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins. So. Where did God's forgiveness manifest itself? Still nothing. Okay, one last verse of scripture, then if you're still not going to answer me, I must deduce that you refuse to see the simplicity of what I'm trying to show you. Ephesians chapter one and verse seven. In him, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. So, in what historic moment did God forgive humanity's sin? Exactly when Jesus shed his blood on the cross. And do you know why? Because the Bible clearly states in Hebrews 9.22 that without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. Okay, now, God forgave all our sins and the last time I checked, all means all, both in English and in the original Greek. God forgave us all our sins when Jesus shed his blood on the cross. Agreed? I certainly hope so, otherwise I have to change jobs. <laughs> so my dear friend, if you received forgiveness for your sins 2,000 years ago when Jesus died on the cross, how many sins had you committed up to that date? How many? None. Unless, of course, you are older than 2000, which I very much doubt. Okay, so if you had not committed any sin and God forgave you all your sins, which sins exactly did He forgive you? Which one? Precisely the ones that you had not committed yet. In today's terms, your past, present and future sins. For the simple fact that 2000 years ago, all your sins were in the future. Sadly, though, I am convinced that even though my reasoning is perfectly logically sound, <laughs> there will still be some religionists out there that will find something contrary to say. Yes, relax. God has forgiven you of all your sins through the sacrifice of Christ, past, present, and future, once and for all. Now, 
I want to close with this phrase. If you think that what I have just explained gives you the right to go out there and sin as much as you feel like, I suggest you get saved because you have not understood an iota of the beauty of divine hypergrace. Hugs and blessings to you all.